the abandoned building's history, know it simply as the Murder Hotel. The infamous hotel was run by a mysterious family for several generations until close to In unrelated news, the trivia murder party killer is still on the loose. Up next, Old Medicine. This is your wake-up call. Prepare to die. Welcome to Trivia Murder Party. I flooded the roads myself to strand you here in a fight for your life. Only one of you will survive. And that one survivor will get a coupon for 20% off your next visit. All right. First question. What do you get when you mix tin and copper? Use your device to answer the question. Time's almost up. And the correct answer is... Who got the question right? The rest of you, time for consequences. Welcome to the killing room. This one lets you protect yourself with a password. Enter a real four-letter word with your device. Make it hard to guess. If your password gets cracked, you die. Time's almost up. Aw, you didn't make a password. That's okay, I can make one for you. How about one that rhymes with head? Now everyone else will try to crack the passwords. As a team, guess either password on your device. You get a clue if your guess has a letter in the right spot. I will reward you all for every password you figure out in time. Don't be greedy about what letters you figured out. Let everyone know. Time's almost up. You got hacked, son! <laughs> We're not done with you yet! Okay, so... Don't freak out! But you're a ghost now. Keep playing and you just might steal someone else's life force and win the game! Let's keep moving. In Greek mythology, who designed the Minotaur's maze? <laughs> who picked this? Which leaves only you. Follow me. Welcome to room 217. Ah, the lost art of letter writing. I'm going to dictate a message to you. Write down as much of what I say as you can. Everyone else will be typing too. And if anyone does a better job than you, you die. Okay, let me lean back in this chair and get my feet up. And we begin. Dear police, no need to stop by again. That's quite enough. That said, Officer Jones and Officer Smith are a delight. Officer Smith did a pratfall in some carpet blood. Officer Jones took a video for social media. I retweeted it. Time's up. 
Okay, now let me just look back at my beautiful words, Ash. And what's the result? But did anyone do better than you? You get to live for now, but I'm keeping my eye on you. Let's try another one. If I'm giving myself a French tip nail, which, I mean, come on, I, I would, I'd never do that. Uh, what does that mean? Who picked this? The rest of you, I want to show you something. Let's see who has ESP. Type in an answer that fits this category. Everyone else will answer too. And if anyone matches you, you die. Including any potential mind readers. Now, let's see if there are any matches. It's a match made in heaven, which will send you to hell. We're here! When one player is left alive, we'll go to the final round. Next question! If your plane gets lost in the Bermuda Triangle, where will you crash? Who picked... this? One of you is still alive. Come with me. Eggs! You're going to drop down this board and try to avoid the death zones. Hmm, someone needs to pick which slots are death zones. Go ahead, everyone else. Choose a slot to make it no bueno. Okay! Let the games be- You're right, Bill Nye! Gravity is cool! Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. I should've made them all death zones. I wrote this next question just for you. If you get it right, I will punish everyone else. Which Cartoon Network show featuring the Crystal Gems was created by Rebecca Sugar? And the correct answer is... Did you get the question right? You succeeded! The rest will suffer. Now we learn obedience. Follow as many rules as you can before time runs out. Everyone else is playing too. If any of them correctly follow more rules than you, I will kill you. And it's already begun. The rules are on your device now. I'm gonna shut my eyes for a little bit. Take a little micro nap. Ooh. 
rule time is coming to an end. Well, now I'm mad at everybody. You'd think ghosts would just fall through the bottom of an elevator when it goes up, but I guess ghost rules don't make any sense. Let's keep moving. Which possession does the giving tree give the little boy? Running out. Who picked this? It's time. I'm giving you the laziest gift of all a scratch ticket. Scratch and find three dollar signs to live. And if you keep scratching, I'll give you cash for all the extra dollar signs you find. But if you scratch off even one skull, you die. Get to scratching! Why stop now? We know what a losing ticket means. Only one of you is still alive. You know what that means. You've made it so far, but can you escape? I'm going to give you a category. Sesame Street Residents. Tap each answer that fits the category. Let's see the right answers. You advance one space for every correct answer. You're on your way to escaping! Oh, did I mention that all the other ghosts get to play too? If a ghost catches you, they'll steal your life force. Then they can try to escape and win the game. Here's everyone's next question. And ghosts get a third choice to help them catch up to you. Time is almost up. Skating jumps. Adult swim cartoons. Don't fall behind. It's only darkness. Looks in L. Frank Bomb's Oz series. Next question. Poems that rhyme. Time is almost up. One of the seven chakras. The exit is so close. People alive during the year 1900. Darkness approaches. Chicken breeds. Time 
Ich muss noch ab. Uh oh, this might be over soon. You won't be forgotten, whoever you were. Clouds. I'm going too easy on you. This will slow you down. If you want to break through that barrier, you'll need a perfect answer to this question. And that includes the third answer choice now, too. You have to get all the right answers to escape. You're not going anywhere. The tables have turned. Animals that hibernate. Time is almost up. If you were trying to get it wrong, you nailed it. You must be the guinea pigs I ordered. Sign in with the room code and make sure to snap a selfie or draw yourself for our records. Lab rats, sign in with the room code and don't forget to take a picture or draw yourself for our records.
models. We're the lab that made Vin Diesel. Here at the lab, we've spent years searching for the genetic magic that makes each and every human a truly unique individual. But that was hard, so we found a shortcut. We theorize every friend group has some version of the smart one, the popular... Ah, you've been on the tour before. I need a category to get us started. Vote for your favorite, but try to make it something everybody knows a little bit about. Don't tell me you haven't thought about it. Which fart matches each of you best? So, on your device, you've got the names of your fellow lab rats. Drag each one to the role you think fits them best. That includes yourself. Oh, and you'll see a little 99% sign next to each role. Tap that to lock in the answer you're 99% certain will match what everyone else picks. I'll make it worth your while if you're right, so make sure to pick someone. When everyone's given out their roles, we'll check out the results. Let's find out who you are. Let's see those votes. Take out the outliers. That's our winner. I like to keep my guinea pigs motivated, so I'll give you guys these nutritious science pellets. Whatever your answers match the group. Whoever has the most at the end is my lab rat of the month. Plus, they taste like meat. Subjects who already have a role can't get this one, so we'll take out these votes. Hooray! Refreshing! Yeah. It happens to the best of us. Looks like your peers weren't feeling any of these roles for you. I've got a plan B role that might speak to you. Everyone vote on which role fits our neglected subject the best. You did it! Sort of. And this role comes with some science pellets. Here's how it all shook out. And here's how you're doing on science pellets. Remember, you get pellets when your answers match the group or you perform the best in a tiebreaker experiment. Keep that in mind if you want to be the winning test subject. What's our next category? Star Wars character best fits each of you. Let the truth telling begin. And remember to tap the 99% button next to the combo you feel most strongly about. Let's see where we landed. You really know yourself, or at least what your friends think of you.
The only one who isn't a whiner. You started from the bottom, and now you're here. You're too cool for space. Now that's a role I've not heard in a long, long time. our lineup and real quick you you are freaking me out with these predictions get out of everyone's heads okay you've each got some roles under your belt let's see what the data tells us I can tell from your roles you two are complete opposites from a very specific point of view anyway we're not leaving here until we find out which of you is better at being you before entering a dinner party, you discover you are totally underdressed. What do you do? I want both of you to write an answer that fits the trait above your head. The rest of you will decide who wins. There you go. Put on your devices now. <laughs> Looks like a tie. Let's go with what the supercomputer predicted and give it to you. Looks like someone's got a unique role. That means you get to do something special. Make your selection on your device. Let's see how that shook out. Ooh, we have a subject with a unique role. And with unique powers come unique responsibilities. Pick someone on your device. Let's see what happened. Alright, pick your final category. What would each of you use? Assign those roles. See who's who. Yippee. Good luck with that. Yeah. 
Yes, but can you do crossword puzzles? Hooray! Well, you're kind of a downer. You don't want to know what's inside my head. Ooh, still no role for you after all that data. Don't worry, I've got a consolation role that might do the job. Everyone vote on which role should go to our mysterious test subject. This feels right. You get the roll and some science pellets. Here's where we landed. One last thing before we close the book on this experiment. Let's see what else we can determine from your roles. You guys. Your roles tell me you share a common personality trait. I can't stand not knowing who's better. You win $10,000 in the lotto. What's the first thing you do with the money? Answer the prompt on your devices and we'll settle this once and for all. Vote on your devices now. Makes sense to me. You two. Your rules tell me you've got something in common. You guys are like twins, but one of you has to be better. What would you honestly like to write on your welcome mat? Answer the prompt on your devices and we'll settle this once and for all. data. Vote on your devices now. Wow, no contest there. That was the final piece of data. Get ready for your final roles, as determined by everything your fellow subjects said about you. And our Lab Rat of the Month with the most total science pellets is...
Welcome aboard! You must be the talent! Please sign in! Please, whenever you're ready. comedians here's tonight's itinerary we're gonna write some jokes and then test them out on stage but first things first it's brainstorming time before we jump into the jokes let's do a little writing exercise to get inspired on your device you'll be prompted to write various topics like animals people or objects fill in whatever you think has a lot of comedic potential if another player uses one of your topics in a winning joke you'll yada yada moving on You've got time for one or two more. Now that your noggin is moving at full steam. Okay, let's get to it. You know the drill. We've hit the halfway point. I hope you're a better crowd than the last one I performed for. They were all aboard. <laughs> but seriously, the jokes are hot and the sea is cruel. So let's welcome our first comedian to the stage. Oh, 
Remember to say your catchphrase. Let us know which joke you liked the most. <laughs> Folks, put your hand and hook together for our next comedian. Nice job, you two. Judges, what do you think? <gasps> and some credit to you. Our next comic needs an introduction. <laughs> and a tip of the hat to you. Our next comic needs no introduction. Yeah, they tried. I can't squat. of applause for our next comedian.
Let's look at our starboard. That's a boat joke. My life is in shambles. If you're at the bottom, fret not. We're all mortal souls who will eventually perish. <laughs> I wake up screaming. Okay, let's write some more jokes. Yada yada, moving on. We're at the halfway point. Stuck? Then hit the joke for me button. Get ready to go 20,000 laughs under the sea with some more comedy. Vote for the joke you liked the best. <laughs> All right, let's hear it for the next performer. Okay, judges, render your verdict. Please welcome our next comic to the stage.
things going for the next comic. going for our next comedian. winning comedy. Let's see. If you're at the top, that means you're the headliner right now. Well, we're sinking again. There's no time to write jokes from scratch. So, Here's the plan. Let's rewrite another... Okay, let's get to it. You know the drill. your personal belongings behind, but bring your laughter back for our performers! Which punchline is better? Thank you. 
Which version do you like best? Find out the winner of this beautiful and fully functioning life fest. Ah! Hey.
poorest folk 